Continue to relax now. Continue your breathing. Notice your thinking pattern. Notice your environment. Here in the Monroe Institute Laboratory, we work with people in a isolation booth to teach them how to move into different states of consciousness, to increase intuition, creative thought, to explore the realms of their own hypnagogic imagery. We provide them with a combination of sound patterns to help shape their brain waves into conducive states of consciousness. Raw brainwave patterns look very similar to what you might see on a polygraph machine. In this case, we simply turn those pages into a map of the brain. We can do that simply by asking for a different type of computer display. Here we've taken that same information and turned it into a map. This oval pattern represents the top of the head of the individual. This oval pertains to alpha waves, this one to theta waves, and this one over here to delta. We can move forward second by second here in time and see the brainwave patterns change. Breaking up of the alpha, moving a little bit better in here, there's a nice theta picture. The alpha, resting state alpha, is broken down altogether. We have a nice clear and synchronous theta pattern. It's kind of a, an intuitive situation. You see this kind of happen. We would like to train the individual to recognize consciously when this happens by teaching people how to feel this intuitive sense. It can become part of one of the things that you know how to do. Now you can prolong that. It doesn't have to be just an intuitive flash, but you can learn to explore your intuitive knowledge simply by expanding that intuitive insight to take not just a couple of seconds, but a few minutes of your own in-depth exploration. It can be a very different kind of a world, not the same physical world we live in, but a mental world, a mental dimension in and of itself filled with answers and understanding.